in this module and next several modules we will talk about cellular membranes. Initially when I told you about membranes I we were talking about analogy, analogy of a city. I had said that membranes perform a function of the city wall. Uh, they basically are barriers. Today I will convince you hopefully inshallah that membranes do a lot more than providing a barrier. Membranes for example have special proteins on them. These proteins serve as receivers of different type of signals. Just like antennas placed on the rooftops, these membrane proteins are looking for signals and when they receive that signal, they transmit whatever information they have received to the rest of the cellular machinery. We will talk about this process in much more detail in later modules. However, I just wanted to mention for now that membranes also are housing these special proteins that serve as the receivers of different messages. Membranes also have enzymes, special proteins and these proteins basically, these membranes increase the surface area on which these special enzyme proteins can be embedded thereby providing a greater surface area for different types of reactions. Not only membrane proteins provide greater surface area for these, uh, these enzyme proteins to function, they can also organize these enzyme proteins in a sequence. Uh, we know that in metabolism, the end product of a chemical reaction is the starting point for another chemical reaction. So if these enzymes are organized on a membrane scaffold, uh, these reactions can go on sequentially in a much more smoother way. Additionally, membranes also house proteins that, uh, that are responsible for cell adhesion. The, these are some of the functions that membranes perform. Let's look at the structure or the components of the cell we have briefly talked about in one of our previous modules. Membranes are basically phospholipids. The components of membranes are basically phospholipids. These phospholipids can be saturated or unsaturated, meaning that the fatty acid present in the lipid molecules may or may not have double bonds. If the fatty acids don't have double bonds, these are called saturated fatty acids. The ones which have double bond are called unsaturated fatty acids. The length of fatty acids is about 14 to 24 carbon atoms long. Here I would like to point out an important feature of phospholipids. These phospholipids have two domains. One domain is water loving or hydrophilic. The other domain which is composed of the basically the fatty acid part that is hydrophobic. It tries to avoid water. This feature of membranes results in formation of a specific structure. We will look at that in the next slide. Here I would like to also mention that we can abbreviate the components of membrane, the fatty acids, phospholipid fatty acids by this small abbreviation you can see on the screen. I will point it out. Here it is. This basically abbreviation is will be used for the next several uh, slides also. Now let's uh, look at how these membranes form, these membranes form different structures, basically a sphere. This sphere, here you can see on the screen, it is energetically favorable for these membranes to fold and form spheres. Here you can see that this membrane is arranged in such a way the head regions or the red dots you can see, those are the polar groups of the membranes. They are intact or they are in touch with the water aqueous environment whether it is outside the cell or it is inside the cell. One important feature I would also like to point out is that membranes are basically composed of two leaflets an outer leaflet and an inner leaflet. Both these leaflets of these lipid membranes can have different features. Again as I said that free energy dictates most processes and this is no exception Energetically, these molecules arrange themselves in a sphere so they can avoid contact with water, thereby promoting maximum amount of hydrogen bonding. Let's look at hallmark features of these lipid bilayers. 
phospholipid bilayers can coexist with water they can do that because they form bilayers in which the hydrophobic part of this bilayer is interacting with the water whereas the hydrophobic part of these lipid molecules are interacting with each other these structures are dynamic meaning that the molecules present in these lipid bilayers they can move around they have they have they have ability to move around and they have the freedom to move around and they actually do move around the vital physiological roles of lipid bilayers is they promote cell cell interaction cell cell adhesion and they also allow cells to communicate and interact with its environment physical integrity of lipids is to basically create a barrier through which hydrophilic substances cannot cross we look at other features of lipid uh, lipid lipid membranes in the next module.